starting off with the basic bullfighter pass here today. We're going to go over one of my favorite arm bars and I'll show you why it's a lot more effective than the regular arm bar. So when I go here, I go for my pass. Usually I like to block the hip. I'll come to the gi and I'll take a step. Now usually the person's going to turn on their side and they'll use their elbow to start to turn. When I do this, if it's gi, I'll grab the gi and I'll pull it up. When it's no gi, I'll be fast about it. I'll grab the elbow and I'll cup and I'll pinch it in between my armpit. Next step that I do is I take my shin and I step in close and my foot steps next to the shoulder. Now I'm gonna lean all my weight on top of the person, that way it can't sit up into me. If I do this and I lean and I sit, now I've just brought him up on top of me and I missed the entire thing. So when I go, I'm here, step. Doesn't matter if I catch the armpit, either way, as long as I pull this elbow up and I put my shin and my entire body on top of them. Now it makes it easy to rotate the foot through and we'll lean back and we'll get our finish. So again, I come here, I go into the pass, we go to the side, I try to scoop up the arm and I take a stutter step here. Goes in between the armpit, I keep control of the elbow, I lean on top of the body, throw it across, and then one of the main reasons that I stopped or started doing this position is because when I would get the arm bar, Sometimes you just rack yourself and it doesn't feel too good. So I started coming here and actually made it so the arm bar was a lot tighter. So when I get into the position, instead of my hips pinching, it's my entire hand on the elbow. So it takes away the mobility in his arm. Next one grabs the top of the wrist and then I just pull down. I don't even have to use my hips. From here I can just push up with my arm, opposite one pulls down. So one more time, go here, lift up, get the finish from there. Oh,